Hello everybody, in this short lesson I'd like to share how I made uh, this uh, rain effect. So um, the setup is not very complicated. So here are my uh, main geometry that I created. Um, a volume and um, geometry itself for collision and here's the main emitter that has some particles scattered and jittered so uh, I could have some randomization so um, Um, so this is the setup. Uh, we have uh, collision geometry, ground, and the eagle itself, and the particle system. So if I start from the very beginning, I have uh, um, just do it like that. So uh, here we have a main emitter that collides with uh, geometry in the ground. As you see, and uh, I'm grouping it um, for future use, add some color and collision behavior. Um, I just group those collided particles um, based on the uh, main selection, and this is a gravity force. Then I have. Uh, uh, I have my burst particles, so if I simply disable that, and now I'm using the collided particles to uh, to split particles uh, during the collision. So you see, there is bursting particles. Um, so um, next level is I want my particle uh, to have some trails, not all of them, but a few of them. So I uh, uh, did some random group uh, from bursting particles, the dripping particles, and uh, and, a, and a burst group. Um, and also I use some gravity so if I enable this and I'm using this burst group to add some trails uh, to this burst group so if I play now you see we have some trails now particles Okay, um, next the dripping particles. The dripping particles, I want them to slide over the geometry. Um, those uh, sticking water drops and have some trail. So if I disable that, this is the um, I actually like to use those dripping group um, it might be too much be a little less not, not. 
So, um, and these particles, the, the stick particles, uh, then we'll use uh, as um, I'm using stick particles as a, as a driver to create my trails. Too much. So let's create a fifteen. So, as you see, there's a um, Dripping particles we have. And the last one, this is overall um, uh, particles that just uh, slides onto the surface like a big drops and A little heavy to compute because I added um, some substeps. And I use also the dripping group as well. Then I add an overall drag, um, just uh, speaking about those uh, properties, uh, for example, here's the collision behavior from most of them is just sliding uh, option and uh, I use some expressions uh, to um, to be able to stop my particles um, based on age uh, ramp so uh, the older they get the slower they become I mean the, uh, the ramp uh, the air resist uh, will uh, just increase according to the ramp and here's some uh, properties that you can play with uh, uh, also, I used uh, this for um, um, this uh, these expressions just to play with the amplitude. Okay, uh, just to um, just to uh, kind of stop this amplitude um, noise noise effect. Um, uh, according to the age of a particle. Um, but uh, most of the... Uh, and also here I use the mean pose uh, expression just to um, stick um, my particles to the geometry so uh, they could slide uh, while being attached to the geometry.
and some sub steps I got it uh, if there is a lot of speed so um, and then I cached out my particles and uh, here's the result Let's see Um, if you want to play with the scene, you can download the scene. I will also uh, uh, include the scene files. Um, and this is a render view. Uh, also, um, uh, the advantage of grouping particles is to be able to uh, control the scale of the particles um, by group. So, so here's the result. I hope you uh, find it useful and um, thank you for your attention and goodbye.